Hi guys, Rock Butcher checking in with you today from the sunny northwestern Ontario. And uh, I'm new to doing this YouTube thing. I uploaded my uh, step two in the in the uh, channel sampling process this morning and found that it became a short so nobody could see the description. So I figured I'd add this here in the beginning and then we'll just put two and three together. But uh, so basically with the channel sampling, you're doing it on an outcrop that... Uh, is uh, what we call a whaleback. It's very, very difficult to get a good representative sample across the whole vein. And so what we'll typically do is the uh, we'll strip it, we'll clean it, get all the vegetation off, all the soil. And then, uh, and up here you need a permit to do that. We have a permit. But um, the geologist will then, out, he'll uh, lay out a, or she will lay out a, a line across that vein, perpendicular to the vein. Um, and you also want to take, you start on the hanging wall side, you go to the foot wall side, you want to um, take about two feet, if you can, of uh, material from either side, uh, the waste rock, so just in case some mineralization is leaked out into the waste rock. And then within the vein itself, the ones we were on right now are uh, sort of in excess of six feet wide and they're zoned. So. Uh, a lot of times veins have uh, different zones in them and some of them are more mineralized than others so you can break uh, you can break that up uh, along the way and so a geologist will spray paint a line across for the, the cutter and um, and then with hash marks on it for where he wants the sample breaks and then the cutter will uh, will cut the sample breaks with the with a diamond saw a rock saw and then he'll um, He'll cut two parallel lines about two inches apart and three inches deep. And after that, a geologist comes along with um, with a hammer and chisels, and he gets down into those cuts and he, uh, and he breaks off or she breaks off the the sample um, the samples. They come out as nice little bricks you'll see in the video, and then uh, <clears throat> toss them in a bag and send them off for assay. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to put steps two and three together here today for you, and you guys can check that out. It's, uh, it's a pretty great process. I'm pretty stiff and sore from walking into the bush yesterday, and <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing computer work today and getting, getting all caught up with uh, my GIS information and my satellite info, so I've got everything on the computer so we can figure out where to go next. All right, and with that, we'll uh, move on to the regular video. Enjoy.